is what is for supper tonight. I'm having broccoli, macaroni and cheese, and a baked pork chop and some cornbread. I also made pinto beans, but I don't eat pinto beans. So Dan and Clay will have pinto beans with theirs. But that's mine uh, for tonight. Yep. I don't know if I'll uh, show another meal this week or not. Who knows? It's just kind of for grabs these days with me. Y'all, like where are we headed? Walmart. This ain't deja vu. Well, I guess maybe it is deja vu. I was going to say, we didn't upload the same clip again. We're just headed to do a Walmart pickup again. Um, it's 104. My car said it's 104. Says it's 104. Hot as you know what. We are going to go do, we, we did a grocery pickup because Dan has drank all of his Gatorade and all of his water. I did manage to get him two of the canisters, the powder. I got him two, um, we didn't, didn't get the flavor he wanted, but you just kind of got to get what you can get right now because everybody's buying it. I had to, like I was doing my pickup, my Walmart thing this morning, trying to hurry up and make an order so I, because you know, like if they'll, if while you're doing it, they could sell them to somebody else, you know what I mean? So. I was trying to hurry to get him some powdered Gatorade. I got him two canisters of the powder. He didn't want any of the, the bottles this time, uh, but I got him four cases of water. I got me and Clay more Dr. Peppers. We did that last pickup, I think, on Tuesday. Monday or Tuesday, I don't remember. Monday or Tuesday, I don't remember. Today is Saturday. It is free electric day, which means I'm doing all the wash in my house. I'm almost done. I only have about two more loads. With this new washing machine, y'all, it cut it in half, so that's great. Um, um, I, and I just picked up some odds and ends. And eat, I say odds and ends. I got Dan a, a case, a big box, 96 coffee pods. I don't know what you call them. The little cups that he puts in his thing, the, the, the biggest box you can get. I got him that. I got him two canisters, like I said, of the, of the uh, Gatorade. I'm sorry if you can't hear, hear real good because the air condition is on high. It's just going to be on high. It, we, mm, it's too hot. Anyway, um, I picked up Clay some more of the little personal pizzas. He likes those. Um, I guess I'll show you when I get home. I don't even know. I don't remember what I got, what all I got. Um, I, oh, I know. I got a case of wet food from Miss Kitty because I don't think she can eat the... She is 15, 14, 15. I can't remember right this minute. I had to figure it out. She's either 14 or 15 years old. And I think she's having trouble with the dry food because she keeps puking it up everywhere. And I, I, look, I love her, but I'm over cleaning them damn throw up chunks up. Anyway, I know that was TMI, but um, anyway, I'll show you uh, when we get back home. Clay wanted to get some uh, uh, Burger King while we were out. I'm not hungry. I my stomach, y'all, is giving me hell. It looks like I'd be skinny as a rail with all this trouble my stomach keeps giving me. I was sick as a dog for two that two straight days. I was like, Jesus Lord. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah, you'd think I'd be skinny as a old stick. These guts. And it wasn't diverticulitis. So, um, yeah, I don't know, y'all. I don't have the lights fixing and change. I'm going to show you when I get home better. But look at this Callie's tail. I ordered some uh, dog hair dye. And so I, I, it, it smells amazing, too. I love it. So I dyed her tail pink. Um, and it's, it's just a, uh, uh, we call it semi-permanent, you know, it washes out. Obviously, it's semi-permanent because you wouldn't, I would never bleach. I wouldn't put anything that I think would hurt her, would, you know, hurt her owner. And, um, uh, and I only left that, y'all, for like, it said to leave it for 20 minutes, but, uh, I took and put a, I put her tail in a little Ziploc bag and then put a ponytail holder on it. It wasn't too tight or anything, but she, you know how they don't like something weird like that on them, and she wasn't having it, and so I just took it off of her in like five minutes, and that's, it turned that pink in five minutes, so, yeah, um, I'll show y'all what I used.
try to, I try to remember to show y'all what I used if anybody else wants to get it. And I got it off of Amazon. It was only like 12 bucks. I think it was $12. But, um, so let us get in our little spot here and get our groceries picked up. All right, thank you. She won't eat them. Thank you, though, but she don't. She's kicky. <laughs> um, yeah, let me see what that other sign says. We may just order. We may not use the coupon today if you want the sandwich. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. If y'all heard, the guy asked if I wanted him to bring Callie any dog treats. I'm telling y'all, if this ain't the sweetest bunch of people and the way they handle this, I am thoroughly impressed. If it'll fit, that's great. And if not, you're welcome to sit it right here in the back seat. Thank you. Listen, I don't know who I just had to write a letter to, an email or something. If this ain't the nicest bunch of folks. I wonder if all Walmart pickups are like this. Because let me tell you, these guys that work here, we spent, I think, 147. Last time it was like two, uh, four, 247 or 257, and then today was 147. We, we got to hang out with the 47, don't we? <laughs> anyway, I'm just thankful that you know we can afford to buy what we need, and well, we don't need all of this, but it sure makes a nice life, life nice. For it there for a moment. Look, he's gonna go help this boy finish loading his. <laughs> Y'all, ain't that just the sweetest? I swear, I swear. Every time we come here, y'all are the nicest. All of y'all have been so nice. I just can't say it enough. Oh, we Well, I, I have nothing bad to say. It's been fabulous every time I come here. Thank y'all so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. I shoot that has one more. What's this crazy person doing? Pulling long ways in the... Oh, yeah. Granny, Granny's trying to get in. Look at her. Let's go get her for a boost, Clay. <laughs> oh, he's going to... Oh. He's going to come around and give her a boost up in there. Ain't that sweet? I was sitting here griping about the way he, he did pull in long ways in front of Walmart, which was a little bit crazy, but hey, you do what he you was trying do. to let Granny get in. You just got a hush. Clay, you going to do me that way when I'm old? You going to pull up in there all crazy and let me get in? Uh, maybe. Uh, you can pull in straight. I can get in. Oh. If you, yeah. you ain't got to pull in crazy like that. No. Yeah, just go and pull in straight. Better yet, leave my ass at the house. <laughs> Do me some Walmart pick up and bring my groceries to the house. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Because I don't see me wanting to, I don't want to get out now. I can't see me wanting to get out when I'm old. I can't even walk around. Can't even stand up straight. But maybe I will. I don't know. Because my mama is what's my phone doing? I don't know. My mama. Oops. I can't see. Oh, you think? Yeah. My uh mama is gonna be 80. Let me get in the right lane. Monday. And she's it, she's always been this way, but she is about one going heifer. That we my daddy used to call her road Sally. Because she's a road Sally. She get in the road. Let's she loves go to anyway. go and oh no no no. I'm my phone may be getting too hot so because it's in the window let me grab some lunch i'm gonna tell y'all a story about her when we get back to the house when my phone cools down all right this don't look like much but it's because there's four cases of water out in the car there's a case of diet dr pepper and a case of actually a case and a half of clay's cherry dr pepper i still have a half of a case left from when we got it the other day, but Clay don't have any left, so. That's how much Dr. Pepper he was drinking. That's why he's lost over 20 pounds switching to diet Dr. Pepper. Anyway, I got Dan, two of the, those Gatorades. They like these breakfast, we just brought all this in, y'all, I'm huffing and puffing. The breakfast Hot Pockets, Clay likes these little pan pizzas. Uh, Dan got something for Father's Day that he needed a nine volt battery for, so I got him a couple of those. I needed a new phone cord. Uh, we're going to try this uh, wet food with the cat. Callie loves these chicken treats. 
so I'll get her that. The cat eats lickables. This is her treat, y'all. Would you look at that? Are our animals spoiled or what? And then Dan wanted some mixed nuts. I got him those and this and the pork skins. He don't like to eat a heavy meal in the middle of the day in the summer, but he does need a little something, so he takes that to eat. But, um, and then, like I said, there's four cases of water in the car and drinks, and we spent one forty-seven something, I think. Anyway, there's that. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna tell you all that story about my mama. Anyway, I told y'all I was gonna tell you this story about mama. I'm not even sure I can, because I'm gonna probably be going like this, and it makes the camera move. I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway, uh, I was telling y'all about my mama. She'll be 80 Monday. Now, my mama has always loved to go. Like, just, she loves to shop. She loves to go, like, places she's never been. Go on, like, road. She ain't never been out. My mama just loves that stuff. I don't love that stuff. Um, she, like, when we were, like, when I, you know, she was younger and I was younger, whatever, and the kids were little, she loved to go shopping. Y'all, I'm not a shopping person. I don't like to shop till I drop. This just ain't my thing. That's her thing, though. But, um, and she loves to go, like, on back roads and let's just ride and see where this road takes us. That's, that's just what, you know, that's, that's just the kind of person she is. And, uh, it was, she was a school teacher, and so she had summers off. And I, I can't remember, this was, it was in the summer. And uh, the kids, you know, Cameron was uh, maybe about ninth grade. I don't even remember, I could probably look it up, but I'm not going to, it was the year Katrina hit, uh, whatever year that was. So anyway, mama says, now mama lives in Arkansas. I live in Texas. And uh, I was at mama's and she said, let's, uh, y'all wanna go to Natchez, let's go to Natchez. We love Natchez, Mississippi. Uh, we love to go over there and, and walk through those old homes and just look at the old. We love everything about Natchez. So she says, you, you come and, and let's go to Natchez. And I said, okay. But now Cameron has got a like band uh, thing coming up. So I, she, ha she has to be back. I don't remember, like, let's say on Monday. Cameron has to be back, you know, by Monday morning because she's got this band thing that she's got to go to. Mom's like, not a problem. So we load up and we go to Natchez. We go and we drool over all those old antebellum homes and all that kind of stuff. And mama, I don't read a map. I can't read a map to save my life. Well, my mama's like a man. She can read a, She can read the hell out of a map and she's good at stuff like that. She can, you know, she's good at directions and stuff like that. I'm not. So I never even look at the map. I don't want to know where we're going. You know what I mean? I'm like, just tell me where to drive you and I'll drive. Because I always do the driving. And y'all, this is when, like, I had just recently kind of hurt my back, and so my back was killing me. I had not had any back surgeries yet. So, um, anyway, I was like, I don't really want to do all this driving, but Mama wants to go, and, 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 you know, it's good to get out. And so, anyway, we go. We go to Natchez. We enjoy all those Annabelle homes, like I said. And so we get up this morning, Mama's like, well, let's just drive. Let's just go kind of on down in Louisiana. Let's go. You know, and I was like... Uh, Mama, I, I hope you ain't taking us, I hope you ain't thinking, you know, you want to go down, you know, Katrina just hit down there. Let's don't go too far into Louisiana, you know. Anyway, no, 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 let's just, let's just ride and look. That's what Shelly says. Uh, we was going to ride, because, you know, you can see a lot of these antebellum homes from the road, you know. So, she's like, no, let's just ride and look and see what we see. Okay, not a problem. Do, 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 do. I'm like, Mama. You ain't taking us to New Orleans, are you? No, 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 no. Do 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 do. I said, Mama, we we going a long ways down in Louisiana. Are you sure you ain't taking us to New Orleans? You know the Hurricane Katrina just hit there. You know, really? I mean, you know this, right? No, we just looking. Do 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 do. How come I look up and see a sign that says New Orleans, like 50, I don't remember how many miles. I said, Mama, have you done took us to New Orleans? Mama, Katrina just hit down here. Y'all, we get our ass up in New Orleans. Katrina has just hit. We end up down there. I don't even know what it's called now. The Ninth Ward, the Fifth Ward, the Seventh Ward, whatever the ward is down there that got hit the worst. We're driving around, lost as a goose down there. Y'all, we, we go 
this one overpass, I can remember, we go over it, we go back over it, we go over it, we go back over it, because we're lost. Roads are closed. What is, the, why is that looking, oh, it's my shadow. I was going to say, is my headboard looking, Cameron's texting me. Um, yeah, we look up, stuff is closed, roads are closed, we ha we're looking for a way. I was like, Mama, what you going to bring us down in here for? You know Katrina just hit. She just wanted to see. She said, I just wanted to see. Anyway, so it's late by this time. We done drove from Natchez, Mississippi down to New Orleans. My back is screaming. I'm like, I need to get out of this car, y'all. So we start hunting a hotel. Little did we know the major league little peewee baseball kids, whatever that's called, their World Series whatever it's called, I'm not sure, I'm probably dreaming up words, is somewhere in that area, somewhere down in there. We drove another, like, 275 miles to find, we couldn't find no hotels. We kept stopping and kept stopping and kept stopping and kept stopping at hotels. We finally find a Motel 6. I don't even remember where we were. It was, God only knows where we were. It was, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning, y'all. We were exhausted. I was Yes, totally off because I'm going mama I done told you we Cameron has to be back for this band thing now here we are down here in you know Timbuktu and I, and we got to be back up in Texas by in the morning because Cameron's got this band y'all she took us to New Orleans in the midst traumatized my kids because there was like they had it was like a circle and an X and it would say like how many this was how many people had been found this was how many dogs or cats had been found it was my kids were trying to, you know Cameron was like mom I think that means that there was dead people y'all then on the way back up the interstate we were like in Beaumont Texas somewhere and if, if anybody knows you know Texas you can drive literally all day long and still not be out of Texas so we're in, we're down in Beaumont Texas um I had a little I'll show it to you in the next clip I'm not gonna go get it I had a little flip cell phone this is the little now this is not the one I lost I ended up loving it so much I bought another one uh, but yeah, th look at this, y'all. This was the best phone. <laughs> this was my favorite of all phones I've ever owned. This was my favorite. Look how tiny it is. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about in video. It was a teeny tiny. I still have it, as a matter of fact. I just found it the other day. It, it's about, like when it was folded up, it was literally only about that big. And I kept it right there in my bra. But anyway, we're driving. And I had laid the phone, you know how in the car... You know, the, the, the window ledge right here. I had laid, I just kept my phone laid right there on the window ledge. Well, Clay or somebody farted and it was disgusting. And Mama didn't want her window, it was because he was on that side of the car. Mama didn't want her window to roll down because it'd mess her hair up. So I rolled my window down because I didn't, wasn't going to smell up all that fart. I was like, disgusting. I rolled my window down, whoop, out the window my phone goes. We're not going all that fast, so I'm like, okay, okay, I'm gonna stop and get it because there's road not construction. I stopped to jump out to get it, and I'll be damned if the car behind me, literally, like it, if it had just gone like this, it wouldn't have hit my phone. It went like and ran over my phone. Y'all, I was like, oh dear God, now I don't even have a phone. I'm down here where the damn hurricane just hit. So, we, I don't even know. Whatever the next town was we came to, I stopped and go, y'all, I, I need a new phone. I just lost it out the window on the interstate. And they're like, how did you do that? I'm like, you don't even want to know. You do not even want to know. Of course, then they really wanted to know. And I'm like, my kid farted. I was trying to get some you know, some air. And out the window, the phone goes. But I just need a new phone. So, that's the story about my mama. Love her to death, but my mama is something else. <laughs> Oh, God. Yep. Heifer took us down to uh, New Orleans in the midst of the aftermath of Katrina. The whole time I'm going, don't take us down there, Mama. Please don't take us down there. You know I got to be back up here. Yeah. So, Mama, if you're watching this, girl, you know you was wrong. <laughs>